All right, we're back highlighting two new players for SNY's Make or Break series. SNY editorial producer Scott Thompson is back by popular demand, and he wrote the article. <laughs> All right, so we're going to talk about two Giants players who are entering Make or Break seasons. Blake Martinez is on your list. Why? Well, Blake's coming off a torn ACL, and it couldn't have come at a worse time for him, as now the Giants will have to restructure his deal going into this year. And now it's a prove-it scenario. But, Brandon, not only is this guy a defensive captain, but he is a guy that is a workhorse. Over 140 tackles for three straight seasons coming into the Giants, and then 151 combined leads the team in 2020. So to say that this guy is irreplaceable, it's kind of hard for him to come out of this defense and not produce. But he'll go into a Wink Martindale scheme that is hyper-aggressive, requires speed, strength, and everything in between to do well. So I think it's going to be tough for Blake to come into a new defense coming off that torn ACL. You never know what's going to happen with a player. But we'll see when training camp comes around how comfortable he is. You know, I know it's early, but I think we're going to talk about Blake Martinez as a possible comeback player of the year. You know, when you talk about Wink Martindale and what he offers a defense, we're talking about a player who's so cerebral. And I understand, I always call him Bane. He's big, you know, he's big, fast, strong. But when it comes to being a little bit hesitant, when it comes physically, he knows where to be mentally. Now let's talk about another guy who had to battle back off of a knee injury. You've got Saquon Barkley on the board. Giants fans are watching right now. Go. Well, he has to be on this list, Giants fans, much like Daniel Jones. Final year of his rookie deal, and the Giants just haven't been able to give him that extension just yet because they can't trust him. So it comes down to two things. Yeah. Availability is the big part. Has injuries the past three seasons. Obviously, the 2020 ACL is the big deal. But the ankle injury last year, freak accident, steps on Jordan Lewis, the Dallas Cowboys cornerback, steps on his foot, rolls his ankle. He's out four weeks. So Saquon Barkley needs to stay on the field. But when he does, it comes down to consistency. Now, we're not going to talk about that rookie of the year, over 2,000 yards from scrimmage, but maybe average four, four and a half yards per carry. Set the tone, and Brandon, you know as a receiver, when the running back sets the tone, it's pushing the defense back. That opens everything else up. Yeah, you talk about his injuries. I look at him. He's not a guy that's injury prone. I just look at him as a guy who's got, gotten two years of bad breaks, like you said. Just after having that big game against the Saints, scoring that, that huge touchdown. Looked like himself again. Looked like himself again. He goes and rolls his ankle in a freak accident, like you said, the next week with Dallas. So out of these two players, who makes it, who breaks it? Go. I'm going to say Saquon Barkley by a slight margin. And the reason is he's in Brian Dable and Mike Kafka's offense. And they're going to stretch him out a little more and finally get the ball back in his hands through the air. You saw him catching a lot of passes at OTAs and minicamp. 91 receptions his rookie year. That's something that Saquon needs to get going again. But the bigger thing for me has to be his trust in his knee. He said it himself. He feels better this time than he did last year. And honestly, he also said this. Stay on your side of the table to his haters and his doubters if and when he comes back to form. Tons of motivation on his side. Better offensive scheme. I'm looking at Saquon Barkley to get himself back in that conversation of maybe one of the elite running backs in this league again. He thinks he is himself. And if he doesn't make it in East Rutherford, he did grow up a Jets fan. Could the Jets come calling? Could Joe Douglas come calling and bring him to Florham Park? Who knows? But stay on your side of the table right now. All right, uh, if you guys want to check out who's facing a make-or-break season in East Rutherford and Florham Park, head on over to SNY.TV. Scott, thanks for joining us again, my man.